Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today we are actually doing a really, really cool video. And I did the same concept, but with the Surface Duo. And now we are running the same idea, but on the Galaxy Fold 3. And to be honest, it looks so much better on the Galaxy Fold 3. So what this is, is it's called Computer Launcher 2 which is actually updated to look like a Windows 11 type launcher. Now, starting off right away, we have this on the actual outer display. And you guys can see it looks kind of okay, kind of weird at the same time, right? We have our user at the very top here. We also have this PC. We have our themes, recycling bin, WhatsApp app, YouTube, Google. And then at the very bottom here, we do also have what looks like a Windows 11 taskbar. And of course, we open up the Windows logo. It does go ahead and give us all my applications uh, right here we go ahead and click on that it will show up all my messages and of course my phone right here so again it does go ahead and give me everything I need at utilizing this phone actually using this phone you know as a normal product but also giving that Windows 11 s look and if we go ahead and click on that you can see I have all my notifications all my stuff right there now where it really thrives and what's really really cool about this is when you open up this actual phone because that's when the windows launcher windows 11 launcher actually goes ahead and really shows off its beauty and here is what it looks like and to be honest it looks freaking amazing now of course this is optimized for a phone so this is not the full windows 11 launcher or windows 11 you would experience let's say for example is if you connected to your pc i talked about this in a separate video with the surface duo but you can go ahead and connect and use your uh, whatever phone you have either the full three or the surface duo and use it as a remote pc of sorts and actually run your pc off your affordable phone which is absolutely awesome of course the full three does go ahead and come with samsung docs let's let you be able to actually go ahead and run the same concept off your pc so there's a lot of things with the full three that absolutely makes this device you know really unique and amazing but this does look really really good on the surface oh sorry on the full three even better than it did on the Surface Duo. Of course, because there's no line down the middle here separating the two displays. Now, starting off right away, like I said before, it's the same concept of what it looks like on the outer screen, except it's a lot more expanded. So let's go ahead and get into some of these applications. Starting off right away, go ahead and click on user. You can see it pulls up what looks like a Windows Explorer type of page. And you can see it does have my documents, download pictures and videos. On the left hand side here, it has what looks like my this PC. Uh, it also has networks. It has my hard drive. It has my downloads and all that kind of stuff on the right hand side. And if we go ahead and click on the right hand corner, we can exit out of this. A little finicky. It's a little finicky because, again, you. Oh, here we go. Navigate. Nope. Let's go ahead and try to get out of this. It's a little finicky because it's actually right next to where the uh, actual power button is and stuff like that. So it like doesn't want to exit out of it. But again, like I said, let's go ahead and see if I can get this out of it. There we go. Okay. So again, like I said, exiting out of that is a little bit difficult because it does interfere with the top screen right here. Nonetheless, though, we go down the list here. We're getting, like we just said, we have PC, recycling, and WhatsApp app, YouTube, Google, and Galaxy Launcher. Now, it's the same thing as before when it comes to the outer display. You have your messages right here. You can go ahead and pull up. You also, of course, you have your phone right here, which is, of course, just a bigger version of what we saw on the outer display. Now, you also do have your time right here and a little a google search thing and of course the same concept that we saw with the uh original you know uh launcher out of the box for the galaxy for the galaxy fold 3 which of course is that gigantic little a gigantic search bar of course this one being a little bit smaller but still very very cool now if we go ahead and go to the left hand corner here you can see the same concept applies to what the outer display looked like where we have all of our application ready to go you can go ahead recent apps pin apps and also search apps which is awesome and if we go ahead and click on this right hand side here we have our calendar that pops up we also have our notifications all kind of stuff in the right hand corner just like we had on the outer display and of course click on this we actually do of course have our our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth, our mute, unmute tab. We have our battery in a percentage. And of course, we have our LTE, 5G, whatever you have on this device right there. So all your setting for your phone right there just for you to use. Now, if we go ahead and hold on to the main screen right here, you can see we have some options on the screen. Now, it says, says themes, lock screen, camera, 
colors, wallpaper, gallery, system widgets, launcher widgets, add page or remove page, desktop icons, create uh, folders and remove desktop and settings. So we're going to add a page. So we're going to add a page. You can see we have a little thing now that pops up at the very bottom here. Now this list is going to be a literally just go ahead and switch over to the other page. Now if I go ahead and go into any application, I won't say I want calculator and you can see I have create shortcut and I go ahead and click on that. That will go ahead and create a shortcut for me. So I go back now it is actually right there on the screen. So if you want to, you could theoretically speaking, have all your applications that you want on your main page right here slide over to the right and have all your applications again listed that you want to have on your second page so if you want chrome on your second page create shortcut and just like that it is on my second page and i can go ahead and switch from either page i want and always have the applications right there now we go ahead and go back here let's go ahead and go to the system widgets so the system widgets you have for this launcher are actually a lot of them you have all the way from alarm all the way down this list here as you guys can see to youtube music so i'm going to go ahead and set let's say for example an analog clock all i have to do is go ahead and click on that and you can see it actually looks really really good the design of how this all set up but let's say for example i want to go ahead and just select i like this one right here go ahead and click on save and you have your analog clock right there and i think you can make it bigger let's see yep you can make you can uh make it plus width plus um height and all that kind of stuff right you can see bam now i have this as a bigger clock do i want to i could theoretically speak and have this as my own page and just have my own little you know analog clock on my page which would look absolutely in my opinion really cool so go ahead and do that and now i have actually i think it i don't know where it went i think i deleted it by accident but you could have a whole entire page with just your analog clock would be cool now if you go ahead and click on desktop icons this is where you can actually turn on or off different desktop icons depending on what you want on your screen so you might not want all the desktop icons on your screen you gotta turn that off which is really really awesome i'll create folder you guys already know that's self-explanatory and of course you can go ahead and restart your desktop if you want to go ahead and do that you also have your launcher widgets which is of course your um search bar you have your date and time you have your battery percentage and you also have your storage ram and music player which is really awesome so overall like i said guys it is a really really cool launcher i definitely recommend picking it up i will try my best to go ahead and leave a link down below in the description to this launcher it is called computer launcher 2 but i will go ahead and try to leave a link down below to the play store to this launcher guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions also if you go ahead and switch it this way which is more widescreen the same concept applies it looks absolutely gorgeous and absolutely amazing so again like i said no matter what way you have it, vertical or horizontal you are going to get a really good experience with this launcher i do definitely love it so i'll see you guys in the next one be safe